Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ros Sohail and you are watching our Kantan's Daily English News. Today is 13 February 2024. Today's news headlines. Rohingya are dark and injured in the crossfiring of Arkan Army A and Burmese Jerusalem military BGM. A Rohingya youth has been killed by Burmese Jerusalem military. A Rohingya youth has been killed by a non armed group in camp. Details of the news. Many Rohingya are dead and dozens injured in the crossfire in between terrorist Arkan Army AA and Burmese Genocidal Military BGM at Pekhtet in Choctaw Township, Arkan State, Mema. An inhabitant of Pekhtet said that nine Rohingya villagers were dead and more than 20 seriously injured in the crossfire in of terrorist Arkan Army AA and Burmese Genocidal Military BGM on the last 12th February 2024. He also added that the Rohingya villagers who were injured in the crossfire were admitted at the governmental hospital and they are now under treatment but among them two are in serious situation and they are about to die. A DK's family member said that the Rohingya who were died in the crossfire in between terrorists Arkan Army AA and Burmese Genocidal Military BGM were brought home and buried them in the graveyards. But the injured Rohingyas are admitted hospitals and they are under treatment. A Rohingya youth said that amongst the dead, there are two from one family and they are mother and daughter, and the others are from different families. Another inhabitant of Pekte said that more than two homes were burned down to ashes and almost six homes were partially damaged due to the crossfire in between terrorists Arkan Army and Burmese Genocidal Military BGM. He went to say further that terrorist Arkan Army AA are positioned at the main roads and inside the Rohingya villages. And Burmese Genocidal Military BGM are also ready to take to attack. So the situation of Choctaw Township will be deteriorating and the villagers are getting preparation to evacuate to the surrounding villages due to the continuous crash occurring. A Rohingya youth has been died by the fired motor shell of Burmese Genocidal Military in Ong Daeng Mizali Kun village Saitwe on the last 9th February 2024. The Dikas is son of Abdul Shukur and Halima Khatun and the Dikas is about 18 years old and he is an inhabitant of Ong Daeng Mizali Kun village in Saitwe. A villager said that he was killed by the fired motor shells of Burmese Genocidal Military while he was working in the cultivation field around 270 battalion of Burmese Genocidal Military. He also added that the motor shell had at the neck of the left side of the decays, and he was died on the same time, and then he was brought home by the neighbors and then buried. An inhabitant of the village said that Burmese Genocidal Military from 270 battalion intentionally fired the motor shell toward the cultivation field and it hired to the Rohingya and killed a Rohingya youth and a cow too. The remaining Rohingyas inside Arkana State can't address their sufferings and challenges to the wall due to the network issues and the remaining Rohingya are confronting with lots of challenges inside Arkana State Mema. So they are requesting to international communities to aid and support them and to protect them from being targeted by both terrorist Arkan Army A and Burmese Genocidal Military BGM. It is known that a Rohingya youth has been killed by an identified Rohingya armed group in Camp 20 extension Kutupalong, Kozbazar, Bangladesh on the last 11th February 2024 at about 8.40 am. The case is identified as Arshadullah, son of Siddiq Ahmad, and he is an inhabitant of Block S2B5 in Camp 20 extension in Kutupalong, Refugee Camp, Kozbazar. A Rohingya said that he was attacked by approximately seven unidentified armed group members at around 8.40 am. And the unidentified armed group members killed him on the pathway and then the armed group members ran away. He also added that the incident was informed to authorities and later the authorities came after the incident had taken place. And then authorities checked him and they went back. An old person from the same block suspectedly said that he was attacked by members of Arkan Rohingya Army ARA, also known as Nobihosan Group, as Camp 20. Extension is under control of them. 
A Rohingya leader said that the situation of the camp is deteriorating day by day due to the active movement of criminals group in Rohingya refugee camp. And the criminal groups are carrying lots of unbearable criminal activities against Rohingya refugee in camp. So the high official authorities of Bangladesh must give protection to all the Rohingya refugees so that they can feel safe from the criminals in camp. Thanks for watching Arkan Times English News.